Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. On today's topic, we're talking about do people really want to be rich? I'm gonna leave that with you, Kirby. The short answer is hell no. They really don't wanna be rich. <laughs> they just don't. They really don't wanna be rich. Like you hear, I mean, stop me when you haven't heard of this before. Money ain't everything. Uh, I don't wanna be rich, I just wanna be comfortable. What what's what's another one that people always say? I've uh, heard if money is all what's what? I've heard this. I've heard I don't want to be rich. I just want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> like they will be close yeah. to it. Like you know. Yeah, they, I mean that they they say that, and then you have the people to say, "Oh no, I don't want to be rich." You hear people say that, but in the same breath, these are the same people that's losing all their money playing lottery, but they don't want to be rich. And the truth is, and this is the absolute truth. So viewers, if you're listening, give me the thumbs down button if you disagree. But I don't give a damn. It's still the truth. The truth of the matter is, is the reason why people say that money ain't everything. And you know my philosophy on that. When they say money ain't everything, I say stop listening to everybody else who has money that's saying that. Get the money first, and then you tell me it's not everything. You can't tell me something that you don't know. That's like saying... Uh, uh, Coca Cola tastes bad, and you ain't never had Coca Cola. You just saying it based off of what somebody else said. You actually you learn it for yourself. If money is not everything, go get the money, get a whole pile of it, stack it high, and look at it. Then when all your problems go away, because ninety nine percent of your problems is money problems. When all your money problems go away. Then give it all away because it's not everything. But until you do that, don't tell me money is not everything. And but the thing is, the reason why they say that is they give their excuse, they give themselves, uh, uh, they want to present themselves as a lie, as somebody that, oh yeah, money, I don't, I don't want to be rich at all. It's because they don't think they can ever get there. And the process is way simpler than people think it is. But they mind screw themselves to to believe in that. Oh, it's so hard. I'll never get there. So I better just start saying, no, I don't want it. But in all actuality, they really want it. There's no secret that the lottery, mega millions, whatever that crap is, it gets up to $2 billion. It ain't getting up to $2 billion because the government's putting the money in there. It's because broke people save the little pennies they have to go play the lottery because they're hoping to hit that amount of money because they want to be rich. They just want to act like they don't want to be rich. And the, the craziest thing is, if you notice, all of the lottery stores are in lower middle class to poor neighborhoods. Well, most of them, majority of them are in lower middle class to poor neighborhoods. So they are the ones that's funding whoever wins the lottery. But nobody wants to be rich. Money's not everything. But go ahead. I'll digress. Yeah. Um, and like another thing that I like you hear people say, like when they are talking about that is like when they mention playing the lottery, they they want to retire. So money can solve their problems. They want to retire early. And they every time every time the Powerball comes up, I hear people say, oh, if I hit the lottery, I'm done. That's it. I'm not working anymore. But they will never try and create their own lottery. Like, And what I mean by that is they'll never try and, like, it doesn't, like, people don't understand. It doesn't take that long if you just day after day put the work in. And I heard someone else say this, like, it, you can see results in three years. And I can attest to that. Um. I don't think we started talking until I was just turned 21 and I'm turning 25 this year and I'm not rich, but I can see results already. And I can see that by the time I'm 30, I'll see bigger results. And so what's the big deal working five to 10 years as hard as you can and then having the rest of your life to yourself rather than working 40 years and hoping day by day you can hit the lottery to retire like just retire yourself just but people they don't want to put that work in 
And yeah, people like people associate being rich with being evil. Like, oh, rich people are evil. They 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 don't help the poor. But then the poor always just want handouts. They don't they don't want to see the sacrifices that the rich made. Even if the rich were born into a family that already had it, what did the family do to get there? And you know, they they want to just make excuses for themselves all the time. And yeah, as I say, as the saying goes, it's I'd rather I'd I'd rather get rich for sure than get rich quick. So there is a for sure blueprint out there for people to get rich, but you said the key word. They don't want to put the work in. They don't want to, they don't want to put the work in. They want a magic tooth fairy to come down and put millions of dollars in their pocket with them doing nothing. And I say this all the time. Show me one person that's rich that didn't do nothing. I mean, look, we can go through, I'll go through a couple of them. Of course, every all the females, they want to bring up Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian ain't do nothing but lay down. Lay down and, you know, make, make a sex tape. I know poor people, they won't even get in front of a camera without a wig on and fake eyelashes and everything else on. <laughs> So, so she had, she had to do something, right? But people don't know Kim Kardashian whole story. She was actually flipping on eBay before she was doing all that. She was actually being a stylist for Brandy and you know other artists before that. So she had to do stuff and stack stuff up to get there. The LeBron James, oh, he only dribbled a basketball. Yeah, that's all you see. But do you see the 10, 12 hours that he do uh, working on his craft, taking care of his body, doing things like that? People, it's like that um, that picture of the iceberg, the iceberg. You see the tip of the iceberg out the water and only people see the iceberg. But they don't see all the work that's under the water that made it happen. And that's how it is with celebrities. They just, oh, they didn't do nothing. People just ran and gave them money. No, they put in work. Work that you didn't see, that you're not willing to do. That's how they got there. But people just think, oh, people just willing to give out money for no reason. No, it's a reason. Now it's a reason why those celebrities that I'm talking about, people come and hand them money now because now those celebrities can convince you, you're broke, of course, can convince you to spend money on stuff that you can't afford. So they have another work, work the, you, the poor idolizing them and spending the little money that they have on the products that they represent. But they put in the work to get in those positions. Movie stars, actors, sports, it don't matter. What name of the game? That's how they get there, putting in the work. But people don't want to put in the work. And when I say people, I mean like 90% of Americans. And I'm only talking about America. We can go across the world. It's probably higher than that. They don't want to put in the work. You know, people have excuses. I have kids. I, you know, I'm married or damn all that. Put in the work. And like you said, if you if your significant other is the one that you claim is holding you back, 86 of them. Get them out of there. Because and you said this too, you only got you, let's say 80 years on earth. So the first 15 of those years, you know, you still a snotty nose chump. You still ain't even got off the porch. You know, your mom's still wiping your butt. And then when you get up to that 60, 70 range, so you got about 40, 50 years to actually make an impact. And people just, only impact they're making is excuses along the spectrum. That's what most people are doing. And then they shame and want to blame the people that made the sacrifices as the reason why they don't have it. No, you don't have it because, and I'm talking to everybody listening, you don't have it because you didn't want to put in the work. That's the only reason why. So you can't say there's no blueprints out there on how to do it. You have many of them out there. If you need names, I know Alice got plenty of names of you know, YouTube people and books and all that other stuff that give blue that lay out the blueprint on how to do it. You just got to follow it, dedicate, execute, and be disciplined the whole process, and your problem will be solved. Yeah, like people will always they always have some kind of excuse, and my belief, my honest belief is like you are your only excuse. Like, 
I know people with families, with full-on families, four kids, a wife, and they make more sacrifices than someone with one kid and a wife. And, you know, they're, and I see it, especially in the place in which I work, um, a lot of the truck drivers, you know, they have their own, the the truck, uh, them driving trucks is their own business. They have different contracts. They have drivers that drive under them. Um, you know, they have employees basically to take care of and stuff. Some of them have families, but some of them are spending a week or two weeks away from home in a different city or a different state and sleeping up there in their trucks to establish relationships with new mechanics so that they can bring contracts up to that location, establishing relationships with uh, the drivers in that area so they can know how the routes are, the roads and stuff. And then you have other contractors that, you know, they live an hour away and they don't want to drive to work when it's raining. <laughs> you know, it's like it, you are your only excuse, I believe. And it doesn't matter. Like you said, if you have kids, if you have a wife, um, if anything, that should be your biggest motivation to want and improve the life of your family by, by the sacrifices you're going to make. And a lot of people, they just, they confine themselves in this little bubble once they once they have a family it should be the opposite yep. with all that being said guys if you like the video hit the like button leave a comment down below subscribe share and we'll see you guys in the next video